Good morning, this is Mr. Bevan. Thank you for your attention as I talk about an important topic today, lockdowns. One of the most important steps we take each year to keep our schools safe is to practice our fire safety and lockdown drills. On Friday, we will be having a lockdown drill that is a little different than lockdown drills we've practiced in the past. We will be conducting the drill during one of our passing times, which presents a few minor alterations to our ordinary lockdown procedures. Thank you for your attention as I walk you through the following reminders about our lockdown procedures, including how you should respond to a lockdown during passing time. Lockdowns are used to ensure student, staff, and visitor safety during emergency events by limiting movement and visibility. Lockdowns may be used during intruder incidents, medical emergencies, threats outside the building, and non-emergency situations that may require the hallways to be clear. If a lockdown is called at any time during class, students should move to a space in their classroom that is out of view of the corridor. Your teacher will clear the hallway, lock the door, turn off the lights, and draw the shades. In an actual emergency, the teacher will take attendance and await instruction. During passing time, if a lockdown is called, teachers will take all of these steps. However, since teachers are instructed to clear all students from the hallway, you will be moved into a room by a teacher you may or may not know. Once that step is complete, the lockdown will proceed as normal. The most important step a student can take in a lockdown is to follow the instructions of the adult nearest to them. All of the adults in the building, including custodians and cafeteria staff, are trained to respond to a lockdown. For example, if you were in the cafeteria during a lockdown, the adults will instruct you to go to the serving area. After all students are in that space, they will close and lock the doors. Another step you can take to stay safe is to know what to do if a lockdown is called and you are neither in a classroom or in the corridor. For instance, you may be in a bathroom or in a stairwell and unable to make your way to a classroom before the staff member closes and locks the door. In a case like this, you should stay in or go to the nearest bathroom and hide in the stall farthest from the door. If you are too far from a bathroom to make it there safely, you may exit the building and go far enough away to be safe while still maintaining visual contact with the school until fire and police personnel arrive. For the purposes of our drill on Friday, I ask that any student who exits the building under these circumstances report to the grass island in front of the main entrance or the grass island in front of the guidance entrance and await further instruction. If you hear a fire alarm during a lockdown, do not exit the classroom or building unless you're instructed to do so by the teacher. If you walk up to the school during the school day and we are in a lockdown, that is the main office doors are locked and the library is empty, exit the school immediately and go far enough away to be safe while still maintaining visual contact with the school until fire and police personnel arrive. Thank you for your time and attention to this critical information. Your safety and the safety of those around you depends on our shared commitment to being prepared at all times to use the security systems we have in place. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact me or another administrator, and we will be happy to help you.